Well, happy new year to everybody out there. It's 2021. We're living in it. When you were a kid, and like say you were born like around when I was, didn't you imagine that the year 2021 would be so futuristic? Or, uh, you know, uh, uh, what's the, like Blade Runner where it was terrible? Well, somewhere in between there, right? So let's shave, shall we? It's the first shave of the new year. I mean, it's the first video of me shaving. Uh, I shaved a couple of times since January 1st, I have to tell you that. Yeah. I shave when I'm not on film, you know. Film? Grandpa, what's film? All right, whatever. Hey, what are we going to do today? We're going to shave with some new stuff that I haven't used before on camera. And first of all, we're going to be using this, the Global Shave Club Repless Speed. <laughs> He's got a Replitech, too. But I'm using the Repla Speed. This is a replica of about a 1947 Super Speed Gillette. Uh, it's got a thicker handle. The bottom doesn't have a little hole in it. But it's uh, it looks a lot like one. It's got the butterfly opening top. And it comes with a little cool case. A little... Oh, that leather doesn't smell good. But hey, it'll hold your uh, your razor, right? So we got the Repla Speed. Spleed. Repla Speed. Thank you, Sheldon, for sending that to me. I've been using this for the past few days. And I like it a lot better than the old 1949 Super Speed that I had and I gave away to girl Alex and her husband up there in Chicago. I hope he's using it. I hope someone's using it. Um, but anyway, this is a replica of a 1947 or 49 Gillette. I'm going to use a feather blade in it because that is my want. Now, the only thing I don't like about this razor is that it takes so many turns to get this thing to open up. That's the only thing I don't like, and that's a minor quibble. But look at that. I mean, it took me forever. To... <laughs> the, the original one didn't take that many turns, so it must have a, a finer screw in it. I don't know. But anyway, once you get that done, <laughs> three hours later, no, it tightens up fine. And uh, yeah, look at that. looks nice. It's lightweight. Uh, it's kind of a short handle, just enough where you can put your pinky under it, like I like to do when I'm shaving. Um, you know, however your hand falls on the razor is fine. I'm going to be using the West Coast Shaving Jolly Rancher brush because I haven't used it in a while. And Scott over at Captain's Choice was nice enough to send me his little line of Land Ho products. Land Ho, everybody. So we got the shave balm, the shaving cream, and the shaving soap. So the cream is like real soft, and this is a little bit harder. It's not really a puck, but it's, it's a little bit harder. It's got some more... I like using the soap better than the cream because the cream I tend to put too much on. The scent on this is a fougere scent. Fougere! That word has been popping up ever since I got that cologne. I would never, don't think I'd ever heard of it before. And now I hear it all the dang time. Sounds like some Italian guy insulting me. Look at this fougere over here. Hey! Hey, fougere, what are you doing? Shaving? It means fern-like or earthy. And here's the, uh, here's the little note they sent me. It's a fresh, soothing scent, which possesses hints of citrus with a background of lavender. Yeah, I'm getting that. Savor the subtle complexity of this masculine aroma. Gun show. <laughs> with its cheerful personality. So thank you, Scott. I have shaved with this. It is a, like I say, it's, it's a fougere. So it's not a citrus. It's not a lavender. It's somewhere in between. It's an earthy, ferny, planty. And it lathers beautifully and is slick. All right, I took a shower, did my hair, put some hot water on my face, and we're gonna lather up this Land Ho, Captain's Choice. All of Cap all the stuff I've ever used from Captain's Choice has been really good quality. Even if the scent wasn't my favorite, it lathers like a pro. It lasts forever, it's slick. This is not my favorite scent, Fougere scents I'm learning. How many times am I going to say that silly word today? Uh, are not my favorite kinds of scent, necessarily. But that does not take away from the quality of these products. But I'm always honest. Or as honest as I can be. <laughs> in my opinions of these products. Yeah, it's not my favorite scent. But I guarantee it'd be yours. You know, there are certain people that absolutely love it. But this is a great lathering. Easy to lather. Slick, everything. It's good. So find a scent you like. You can't go wrong with Captain's Choice. Can't go wrong. All right, and can't go wrong with this West Coast shaving brush. Synthetic. I always put links unless I'm lazy. And if I am lazy, 
and uh, just Google it yourself. <laughs> cool. All right, so here we go. We got the feather in, we got the Repla speed. I gotta keep this thing here, Repla speed, look at that. Ooh, sharp. And we're gonna shave with it. Like I said, I have shaved with this. And I did have a 1949 Super Speed that was too mild. It was kind of boring. I didn't like it. This one is, is more aggressive, and I like that. Like I said, it's got a, uh, a thicker diameter handle. Uh, supposedly, I think it weighs a little bit more. Sheldon, let me know in the comments below if you want to. Um, but yeah, Global Shave Club, the same people that made the fat guy. They make a Repla Speed, they're Repla Tech, they make the Fat Boy replica, and they're coming out with a flare tip now. So this came, thing costs $34.99 right now, $34.99. So about the same price as a Merker 34C. But you get kind of a vintage throwback vibe to it. And I like this a lot better than the 34C. That one has just bored me to tears. I gave that one away too. I tend not to keep mild razors. This one is uh, slightly more aggressive, not too aggressive. It's kind of in that middle ground. Or I don't know if it would be great for beginners, but if you're just past the beginner stage, I like it. And 34 bucks, you can't go wrong. All right. Well, I hope everyone didn't party too hard for New Year's Eve. I didn't. Pamela and I stayed at home. We didn't do anything. We went out in the front yard at midnight. The kids got to stay up, which is exciting for them. But we didn't do anything, which is nice. When you're young, you feel obligated. Oh, we gotta, it's New Year's Eve. We got to do something fun. We gotta... And then as you get older, you're like, I don't have to do anything. I remember the first time, this was in the late 90s. So I was in my late 20s when I realized the girl, the guy I was dating at the time, we realized we don't have to go out. We can stay here and watch TV. And we watched like uh, they imploded some building in Las Vegas. And, you know, we drank some and watched TV. And I remember thinking, this is fantastic. The pressure is off. The pressure is off. And especially when you're a man my age with a family. You don't have to. You got nothing to prove. Believe me. Most people out there are just desperate to try to put together something fun and almost always fails. At least it always felt like that for me. Yeah, this is a good razor. I like this. I like this one. It's simple. Feels good. It's not too heavy, not too light. Like I said, my only quibble is, uh, you know, how long it takes to screw open the, uh, the butterfly doors. But that sounds like a first world problem to me. You know what I'm talking about. And the shaving cream, even though this scent is not my favorite, is a fine quality product. So thanks guys for sending them to me. I appreciate it. And I hope everyone out there appreciates it. And I do have one shout out this time. Alfie Sim. Shout out to you, Alfie. What's it all about, Alfie? What does it all mean, Alfie? I can't remember the exact line from that movie. But you probably hear that all the time. Unless you're really young and your friends have no idea. Because it's not... Uh, it's kind of one of those movies that isn't in the zeitgeist anymore. Ooh, zeitgeist. Fancy. All right, college boy. Look at this Fougere college boy over here talking 25 cent words. Nice. Why don't you just shut up and shave, Mr. Fougere? <laughs> I used to live next door to Mr. Fougere. Nice uh, French fellow, French Canadian. All right, here's the second pass. Everything's feeling good. Feeling good. All right, third, with that little bit of uh, lathering I got there, always, always, for me, always face lather. I don't like messing with bowls. And it lathers perfectly for me. I don't know, but everybody's different. I got nothing against people that want to use uh, pre-shaves, post-shaves, beard oils, bowls, you know, whatever. Go for it. But this is me doing this thing. That's my favorite part. Kind of flapping this little uh, this little double chin waddle. Oh, God. 
Uh, hey, you got to be honest with yourself. I'm not in my prime anymore, folks. But I'm not giving up. <laughs> Don't give up, all right? There we go. I'm trying to minimize the nicks that I get. I think I got three or four last time, but I'm going a little bit lighter this time. I always get them right around here, and a uh, little, uh, you know, alum. Take care of that. Take care of that right away. Going up. Don't do this if your skin can't handle going against the grain. Just don't do it. Don't do it. You don't have to. You're not impressing anybody if you do anyway. It's only for you. And your loved one, if you give them a hug and they go, oh, it's so clean shaven. Does that happen? Or is that only in like 50s shaving commercials? I don't know. Speaking of 1940s, I wasn't, but look what I got in the mail. Well, I won't talk about it. I'll just show it to you. Look at what, look at what came from Australia. This is a small box. I'll show it to you later next to the big box. I won't say anything else. I won't say anything else. That's all I'll say right now. I'll just show you. I didn't even say anything, really. There is a vintage tube of Barbasol in there from the 1940s all the way from Australia. That's all I'll say. I can say no more. That's all I'll say. I got one little nick there. All right, all right, all right. That's all right. Not too bad. Get yourself an alum block or a styptic pencil. I think alum blocks are better. They're less messy. Like the styptic pencil is always like, as soon as you get them wet, they start crystallizing and falling apart and leaving this white residue everywhere and it leaves a white residue on your face and alum doesn't do that. All right, let's see. Problem areas, nostrils, side of chin, or chin. <laughs> That's why I can never be a uh, doctor. I don't know the parts of the body. I'm shaving my chin here next to my foot. All right. I think that's good enough. Oh, that's good. That's good. $34.99. Now, I don't know how much the, the, the vintage ones are going for, but, uh, you know, if you want a modern replica with a thicker handle, I don't think you can go wrong with that. $34.99? Why not? So I gotta put cold water on, put hot water. Because the cold water kind of starts to restrict ooh, your skin and the little blood vessels. I'm not a doctor, don't listen to me. And so it restricts your uh, blood vessels and uh, that stops the bleeding and um, the capillaries of the heck. All this fougere has gone to my brain. Okay, I'm gonna check and see if it got any nicks. If so, I'll pull out the old Allen block. If not, I'm gonna put on the Lando Shave Balm. I love me a shave balm. You know, for all the fun that it is to get stung by an aftershave with alcohol, you don't always want to get stung at the end of a shave. You just want to shave, right? Shave balm, not alcohol-based. It's like a lotion. I don't think I need an Allen block. I just kind of do this a little bit and they're so small that they usually stop bleeding. So, I'm just gonna go for the old land ho. He's about that much, not very much. A little goes a long way. Ooh. Yeah, I actually, you know what? It smells slightly different than the uh, shaving cream, shaving soap. I like that. <sighs> See, you just never know. You never, never know. Land ho from Captain's Choice. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Sheldon. Thank you, Scott. Captain's Choice. Thank you, Sheldon, over Global Shave Club. I got a few more Global Shave... Let's see. I got three more Global Shave Club uh, razors to try out in the future. Still got to use the vintage Barbasol that I got down here. I got to try out the 1940s Barbasol. And, uh, yeah. Happy New Year. It's a new year. It's a new you. <laughs> Same old me. <laughs> it's a new... How'd you get a new you? I want a new me that's about 40 pounds uh, lighter. I'm going to work on that soon. I swear, I promise. Okay. All right, everybody. 
I will see you all on Friday. Have a good week. Bye.